Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant, welcome back to the channel. Wow, this loading screen and all of the leaks right now are really telling us that EA is going all out for League One team of the season. And what could that mean for the market? That's what I want to talk about today in the video, because we basically have the whole entire team leaked and we can start to see how this might look tomorrow as all these League One TOTS cards are going to be dropped on FIFA 23. So the hype actually begins today, though, with some objectives kind of even painting the picture of what might be coming during League One TOTS with our new objective set for XP, of course, dropping every single Thursday. So we're going to talk about that and what else has gone on in the game in the last 24 hours with a little content overview. So if you're excited for the video today, drop a thumbs up on it. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Let's look back at yesterday really fast and take a look at what we had. We actually had a decent amount of content, specifically with two different S SBCs for a showdown, which were not expected. But starting with our daily icon SBC, we had Thierry Henry. Kind of funny, of course, that it's a, a La Liga legend that's been painted here because all of these La Liga uh, related icons are being released. But when you think of Thierry Henry, you think of Arsenal. Anyways, not a great price here. I mean, I guess it is an okay price, but really, I feel like for all these icon SBCs that have been released this past week, uh, most of the people that are doing these are doing them for the kind of emotional connection. Like if you're an Arsenal fan, Fan, or if you're a Thierry Henry fan, maybe you're doing this SBC because it's the best card that he has in the game. Same thing with Pushgas, same thing with Ronaldinho as well. But a lot of these SBCs haven't been like, wow, must do. That's kind of how Thierry Henry is as well. Just kind of there and okay. A little bit cheaper than what he was on the market pre-SBC. But, you know, just kind of okay. Now, we also have a showdown SBC, which is actually two different SBCs. We've got the Portland Timbers and Seattle Sounders showdown, which after looking into it a little bit further, it's actually a showdown between some brothers because there are two Chara brothers that play for Portland Timbers and there are two Roldan brothers that play for uh, the Seattle Sounders. Now, both of these have potential to get upgraded, right? Showdown cards. It's just kind of cool that you get two cards uh, inside of one SBC. Basically, there's two, right? You've got Diego Chara and Yimmy Chara here in this one. I already did the first one. And honestly, the thing I like about this SBC is even if I never play a game with these cards, it's somewhere to put my 83s and 84s as I'm doing La Liga upgrade packs. They're really cheap. They're both 83 rated squads. You need a couple 84s or a couple 85s. So it's really cheap to do. It's honestly just some fodder. And if you're going to run an MLS side, those are some nice cards there. Now, they are showdown cards, so they are live in the, that aspect. And I do believe if looking at the table, I understand this correctly, the Seattle Sounders are like fifth in the table right now, and the Portland Timbers are like 13th in the MLS table. So you would think that uh, the Roldan brothers would have a better chance to get upgraded, but this game is not until uh, June 3rd, so it's a long ways away. This SBC is eating out for 10 days, but plus two on the line for the winner, plus one if it is a draw. I don't believe there's any weak foot or skill move upgrade uh going on here i think that was only for foot birthday when we had those showdowns with the five star five star stuff i don't think there's a five star aspect to either of these showdown cards sbcs that were released yesterday but you know that is what it is not amazing content but just kind of cool and honestly unexpected so gg's ea it is kind of interesting i guess you could say with the both the brothers showed on there pretty dope but La Liga Tots upgrade was the main piece of content yesterday, coming in with an 84 and an 86 squad requirement inside of it, 126,000 coins, and man, the pack weight, it just feels like another Wednesday on this game, and I think it feels the most repetitive now that we have been here now for multiple weeks inside of Team of the Season, and it just kind of feels like the same thing over and over. These guaranteed Tots SBCs, I mean, I can't even tell you what my best guaranteed Tots pack has given me through the entirety of Team of the Season so far. You know, I don't think I've packed a TOTS card over like three or 400,000 coins. I mean, at the very most, I think three or 200,000 coins from my guaranteed TOTS pack. Um, I've had better luck from like upgrade packs or maybe a store pack. Uh, so it just seems like, again, another day of a guaranteed SBC where the luck was not that great, which is unfortunate. And I mean, I, we're not sitting here and saying that we expect to have every single week to pack a top five card from the team of the season team in this guaranteed SBC. That's just not how packs in FIFA are going to work. And that's just not how it's ever going to be, right? Because that's how packs work. You know, it still is fun to do for the chance. We did on stream pack a Pedri, I packed a couple of Lewandowski's, a couple of Modric. Um, you know, I did hear about people packing Vinny, which is absolutely insane. We packed a couple of Urentes as well. So we did do a video on the channel yesterday. If you did miss that, I'll link that right up here above. Uh, and we did open some of those. And it always is a fun time opening packs like this. But again, it was just kind of one of those SBCs where it's like, 
We'll do it, but we're almost doing it reluctantly at this point because we don't expect to get anything good, but you still all do it because you, you never know, right? There's that potential there, and it's that potential that makes the fodder rise because everybody still does this SBC. Now, fodder, tonight, as we're looking at prices once again, or this morning, whenever you're watching this video, they're not low again, right? And again, the reason why these prices have been getting low in the past couple of days, remember in yesterday's video, we were looking at 85s at like 8.3K, and now they're up at nine, 10,000 coins and they're staying there. The reason they're not coming down like they did in the previous other days in that early morning, late night time frame before they have the spike around content is because we do not have weekend league rewards being released tradable, right? There's nobody opening those tradable packs. People aren't finishing their weekend league and that sort of thing. Now today there's rivals rewards, which some people may take tradable, but rivals rewards really is not going to bring that much supply on the market. If there is a dip with rivals rewards today, I would say that could be a good time to look to buy this fodder but for most especially of the lower tier fodder i'm looking at 83s 84s 85s i would say the safe route here with these cards is to take the cash i sold all of my 85s you guys maybe saw that i bought a bunch of costage kind of just filled up my transfer list i sold basically all of these at 11 10 to 11 000 coins a couple of them under you know like 9700 9800 so i sold all of those there now the only thing you maybe want to keep a little bit of fodder for is the past couple of fridays we've been getting these flash sbcs right and it has made like 83s and 84s maintain a really high price even with like lightning rounds and packs being opened that sort of thing could be happening tomorrow for League One Team of the Season. But if you don't want to risk it, because they've released different kinds of Flash SBCs even during this Team of the Season this year, they could do a different one that's like a player pick or whatever. So if you don't want to risk it there, I'd say today is a decent day to sell this fodder, maybe with one last spike with like the 81 times 11 that's going to be refreshing today, one last icon SBC. Other thing I would tell you to do is possibly look through your club and sell bronze rares and silver rares because all of these bronze rares i believe during the height of the day sell for about 450 instantly per piece because people are going and doing the um bronze and silver squads that give you tradable two rare gold players packs inside of the sbc section we're getting one last sbc today so if you have those in your club probably not a bad time to sell those off because again you look inside of Terry Henry you've got boom the bronze and the silver squad to start off every single SBC they give you a tradable two rare gold players pack and rare golds right now sell for like 900 950 a piece so people see that as an opportunity to turn in untradable or tradable um, bronzes that they have and I guess it's a chance at, chance at packing a team in the season as well so look through your club and maybe list those up during the height of the day because that's when they're going for more and you could get yourself some more coins from doing that but probably sell soon on fodder and it's probably going to spike today around content again like it has been doing but it could be a good time to sell then so let's get in now to the league one conversation because man that loading screen that they kind of teased us with yesterday they didn't tease us with skill move or, or weak foot or anything like that they just straight up said okay here's Messi, here's Renato Sanchez, and here's Mbappe. And wow, a striker Messi, a Renato Sanchez, and an Mbappe on the loading screen. It looks like EA is not holding back. And that's the vibes that we got from the beginning when we first saw those flashback leaks for Kempembe and Awar. Now, all of the leaks have been revealed, and we have a full squad of 18 players, right? That's how many players are in packs for La Liga and some of the other main league team of the seasons. We have 18 players that are leaked right now all by foot sheriff. So we would believe that these would be pretty accurate leaks. A couple players that have been leaked, but other people are not showing up in here. So we're going to take these as probably the most accurate. Again, take it with a pinch of salt. Leaks have always been uh, times where they've been wrong. So just keep that in mind. But this one I think is pretty factual. And this is where, again, it just feels like EA is going all out. They're going for the bag, especially with this card, right? Renato Sanchez getting a Tots Moments card. I mean, like we knew when we saw the uh, center mid of Portugal on the loading screen, we knew what it was going to be. These are stats predicted, by the way, but you know they're going to make this card look pretty nice. We have had such a nice string of midfielders released in the past couple of weeks. You've got Llorente and Valverde and Pedri in this team. You look back at Bundesliga team of the season, even Premier League tots, some are on the lower tier, but some really, really amazing midfielders in the past couple of weeks on this game. Renato Sanchez is going to fit right in there. That's going to be an expensive card as long as EA juice it up a lot. Be very curious to see how much he gets juiced. Again, this card does not upgrade for that. It does not upgrade. We'll talk about League One specials a little bit in this video too. But moving up on the list, Mbappe and Messi are the two cards in loading screen for these two guys. 
it all comes down to are they going to rate them above or at the same rating as their team of the year card last year messi was minus one below his team of the year card in fifa 22 we'll see if they do that again this year and is probably going to be a 97 messi could be a 98 or a 97 but he is going to be a striker maybe they'll give him five star skills maybe they'll give him bape five star week but that's one thing i'm really curious about because in the top tier of these cards especially this last week during la liga you had Lewandowski, Vinny, Benzema, and Griezmann all getting either a weak foot or a skill move upgrade. So they're really boosting the top tier and making them super insane. I wonder if they'll do that with Mbappe and Messi. Not trying to like say it's going to happen, just kind of th putting that thinking out there. So we'll kind of look for that with those. Now into the more attainable cards, right? Marquinhos, probably going to be the most expensive defender in the team. Of course, he's going to be high rated. He's going to be tough to pack. You kind of think about a Militao type card, probably a little bit cheaper than Militao, may not have as much pace as Militao does but that's going to be a really cracked out card and I'm super genuinely interested in this Verratti card because this is the type of midfielder that I kind of like just the small short super fast kind of reminds me of that Guerrero or a Conte type card he's going to be really cracked I hope they give him five star skills Verratti has had some really overpowered cards in the past FIFAs as well hopefully this one looks really cracked and isn't that expensive right we're looking at a lot of top tier cards here with Messi and Mbappe um, Marquinhos I hope Verratti is not that expensive maybe kind of like Modric they give him a little bit of higher pack weight or something like that now moving on we've got Cabela that's going to be a, basically a fodder card maybe usable though Lacazette as a striker we've seen his leak before foot share of confirming that looks to be a pretty juiced card. Hopefully, it's around 95 rated. Might be 94. Could even be 93. Who knows, right? This All of these stats are predicted, so it's all kind of up in the air how much juice EA are going to give these cards. But they've been juicing La Liga and Bundesliga, so I would imagine that would continue with League One. Now, Ben Yedder, uh in this team as well. The Rat, right, of course, he had a team of the season card last year. And it was like 2 million coins that was stu stupid expensive, right? It was 2.3 mil the first week. Really, really expensive card. Of course, it did end up dropping off a lot. That's probably, I mean, it might not be 2 mil unless they give him a huge upgrade uh, on this year's card and maybe a skill move or a weak foot boost. I mean, he's already got the five-star weak foot. So probably the five-star skills is what it would take for Ben Yedder to be uh, above 3 mil this year, in my opinion. But we'll see. He's getting a team of the season. And then Jonathan Klaas as well is getting a team of the season card. He's going to be one that we're going to get tired of packing by the end of the week on the lower tier. Now, moving on a bit more, Nuno Menj, right? We saw a leak for Nuno Menj yesterday. It looks like it's coming true. That's going to be a nice card. That's going to be a card I would compare to Balde in League One team of the season. I think Balde may end up being a bit cheaper than Nuno Menj because the PSG links are just so in demand, and he's had a card already this year. And still, this is going to be a lower to middle tier card, I think. Probably a couple hundred thousand coins max. But it's going to be one that a lot of people will need for squad chemistry links. That's a big name there getting into this team of the season side. Now, some names I didn't expect to see. The return of one of the most overpowered center midfielders in FIFA history. Musa Sissoko, formerly at Tottenham. And now at Nantes, who are actually getting relegated, I heard. I haven't followed League One that much this year. But evidently, they're getting uh, relegated. And this might be one of the last insane linkable Sissoko cards for a while. Man, if you guys remember playing the last couple of FIFAs, this is basically Vieira Jr. He is always incredibly overpowered in game. So cracked. And I would guess that he would be on the lower tier of this team of the season and probably be pretty cheap as well. I'm talking maybe 200,000 coins or less. Again, all depends on the stats, all depends on the pack weight. But I'm excited, especially the former Spurs player, to see him get a TOTS card and just remember how cracked those Musa Sissoko cards of old were. Speaking of another kind of FIFA legend, Todibo, he had a TOTS card last year. He's getting another one this year, this time inside of the League One side. Last year, he was in Community. That also looks like a pretty cheap card to me, and I'd imagine EA would keep him at a lower rating. Uh, and I have some thoughts on this team as a whole I want to share with you because it really mirrors what we saw last year with Team of the season for League One as well. So Tadebo is leaked in. Samba is leaked in. This card is going to be very packable and all of us are going to be tired of getting him. But he's going to be very necessary for League One Tots links for a couple other cards we'll look at in a second. We've got Andre as well. Again, a lot of lower tier cards. That's part of what I want to talk about. And then, of course, we've got a big boy. We have got... Neymar is getting a team of the season. Foot Sheriff leaked him yesterday. A post deserving to 
you know, be by himself, wasn't grouped in with other PSG cards. Neymar's getting a Tots card. I would not be surprised if Neymar's getting a Moments. Right now, Renato Sanchez is the only Moments card that has been leaked by Foot Sheriff. But with the 18 cards that we have leaked so far, which we'll look at the last couple in a second, again, what have we been seeing? Three Moments cards per release is the normal thing. 15 normal Tots cards and then three of the Moments. So I would imagine that Neymar is going to be one of those Moments. I mean, he might not be. He could be truly a Tots card. But I think there's a couple of those cards that we just looked at through the leaks that will be moments cards in the end. Now, there's a couple more that we haven't seen yet. But Foot Sheriff posted these on Instagram. He actually made me log... I haven't logged in on Instagram on my computer for forever. But he made me log in on Instagram so that we could take a look at these leaks because he didn't post them on Twitter. But he also posted Jonathan David. Definitely deserved. Great season for him. And those are some nice links to Alfonso Davies as well. You want to try to run a little hybrid there. You need two nation links. You could use Alfonso Davies and Jonathan David in the team. That could be a really, really nice striker card there for Jonathan David. We've seen Lacazette, Medina. We saw that leak before, but now Foot Sheriff is confirming it. Nice links to the goalkeeper and another insane center mid, Fofana. I can just imagine having Fofana and Sissoko in your League One Tots midfield. That would be cracked. Deserved for Fofana as well. I'm really excited to try this card out. I really feel like, again, midfielders, man. Midfielders are just being so juiced inside of Team of the Season that it's really, really crazy. Now, as we look through that team, what do I see? I see a lot of cards on the top tier. A ton of cards in the top tier. I'm talking the Messi, the Mbappe, the Neymar, and the Ben Yedder. But then at the same exact time, I see so many cards that are on the lower tier. We're talking about that Cabela. We're talking about the... Um, the, what was that? The CDM, Andre, the Todibo, even the Sissoko and the Samba, and even Medina, right? It's like this team is going to be, I think, very similar to last year. Last year in League One team of the season, we had a team that was so kind of top heavy. As we look and see Neymar Centurion's card, people are expecting Neymar to be expensive. He is just going up a bunch of price 1.9 mil. He was 1.7 earlier in the day yesterday. These Tots cards, I think it's going to be very similar to last year where you had Neymar, Mbappe, Yedder, Messi, um, and I think like Chameni and Paqueta were kind of the more expensive cards, and, and Marquinhos too, but then all these guys down here on the bench, like the Fofana, Terrier, Ganduzi, Klaus, we were so tired of packing LaFonts last year, remember? We were just quick selling LaFonts and forgetting about it because the lower tier of League One Tots last year was so packable. It was like disgraceful. I think that's how it's going to be this year as well. The low tier is going to be so packable. We're going to be super tired of it. But the top tier is going to be ridiculously expensive and so tough to pack that they're going to be crazy expensive. And then the middle tier, you, you maybe have a couple of cards in there. Like maybe the full final will be a few hundred thousand coins. Verratti might be a few hundred thousand coins. Maybe a striker like Jonathan David or Lacazette is in there. But it's going to be a lot of expensive cards and a lot of really cheap cards. And to me, you know... I've got a lot of these cards still that I'm holding on to, not a lot, but some as out of packs investments. I have Nuno Menge that I bought at like 130,000 coins. I feel like he needs to go a bit higher, right? His Tots card, yeah, it might not be that expensive, but until we get until the release of Team of the Season, I'm going to hold on to this one for just a little bit more. Now, a guy like Renato Sanchez, his new card is going to be super expensive. And that's why, like with the Neymar, you've seen their other cards in the game start to really go up in price. Renato is really ballooning. Uh, and I don't think it's because people think he's getting upgraded. I think it's because people know that a Renato Sanchez is going to be crazy, crazy expensive. And this one here at 172, I'm actually going to buy that because he was literally just selling at 190. So I'm going to list this up for just like the quick flip and then hopefully we make a cheeky 10K there because that would be nice. Um, but his price is right. Like he was 150 yesterday and now he's all of a sudden up here at 190. And I think it's just because for some of these PSG links and cards that are getting into the team of the season for League One, their other special cards uh, are just going to be so cheap compared to what the new one is going to be at. Now for other League One special cards, you know, the safest way always to do this is to sell into the hype. And I'm probably going to sell into the hype with the Nuno Menge, with the Atal, and with the Renato Sanchez. But like we saw last week with La Liga, some of those cards may continue to go up as well in price and that's kind of the way that i'm thinking of it with the la liga tots as well a lot of you guys especially after yesterday with the la liga guarantee you may be wondering hey when can i sell these cards especially as they've started to go up right Lewandowski, it was 770k that's up like 70 or 80,000 coins from where he was 
Militao is up over 100,000 coins. Valverde is almost a million. He was 930 yesterday. With these cards right here, you know, they may not drop off like crazy amounts this weekend. Even though I still believe they are massively overpriced, they may not drop off massive amounts, right? Griezmann, I think he could be very affected by a guy like Ben Yedder. Pedri, yeah, he could be. He's super duper rare, but he could be impacted by, you know, the the variety that comes out. If the variety is five star, five star, and a bit cheaper, those would be kind of complementary, or not a compliment, a substitute, right? Type of cards where people may want to use the new variety instead of the Pedri, especially to get PSG link if a card like Kempembe is the SBC on Friday, right? There's so many variables that are here, especially with these La Liga Tots cards, but the rest of the Out of Packs Tots cards in general, I feel like um, that there is a lot less upside than there is downside with these, which is why I really didn't buy any of these yesterday. I just did a couple of quick flips with like the MLS Tots cards. So if you want to buy one of these for your team and you or you bought yesterday when the prices were pretty low before the guaranteed or right after the guaranteed was released, you're fine to maybe hold. But just again, remember that there's a lot of team of the season left. There's a lot of re-release of these cards left. You got ultimate Tots, you got a lot more content that is going to be coming out. And I think there's just a lot more more downside than upside with these team of the season cards. You know, I was thinking earlier that, yeah, Bundesliga cards are going to drop off. They've still maintained really good prices. Diaby 700K, right? It's because La Liga was expensive. Now, if League One on the top tier is really expensive as well, that might keep some of the other TOTS cards up in price. But if the low tier is really cheap, that might make some of the low tier. Uh, maybe you have a guy like Balde. If Nuno Menge is 150K as well, like Balde might drop off because people would sell Balde to go use the new Nuno Menge with the Kempembe SBC or with the other PSG links or League One links that are out there. So again, we are still waiting for the team to really see and really react and think, how is this going to make the market change? And how is it going to make the market kind of move and look? And are these TOTS cards going to be super juiced? Will EA do it like Premier League and not juice the cards a lot and then make the whole market crash because all of the cards are pretty packable and somewhat cheap because they have lower stats? Or will it be like it was last year where you have a lot of packable lower tier cards, the top tier is really expensive, and then not too much in the middle, right? There's still so much to be kind of figured out with this, but those are just kind of my initial thoughts on how it looks right now with this market. So I'm going to be selling stuff to be safe into the hype. That's always a safe play. And then later on, you can react and decide what you want to do on Friday when we see the cards. We'll be making a lot of those calls live. If it looks good, we'll go back in on some of those cards. If it looks bad, then maybe we won't. So that's kind of what I'm thinking wrong with the market. I want to talk about that extensively today because there's a lot going on there. I know a lot of people want to buy these La Liga Tots cards. Again, just be careful holding on to them. Now, really quickly, I want to talk about season progress and objectives because today on Thursday, we are going to get a look and a glimpse into League One Tots with, of course, the XP for swaps. We get a new one every single Thursday, of course. This La Liga goes away tomorrow and Friday, but today we're going to get a new brand new League One where we might be able to see some of the ways we're getting XP. I don't know if it's going to be double XP, but this set of objectives is big because a lot of us, some people are way closer than I am, getting really close to level 30. Now, this player pick, of course, contains League One Tots cards. If somehow this is glitched, remember this happened a couple weeks ago, right? With the whole player pick. Uh, level 20. I doubt this is going to be claimable before tomorrow on Friday, but just in case EA mess up again and make it claimable, this would only have Premier League and La Liga inside of it if this were somehow obtainable today. And if you wanted to open it then, that might be worth the gamble because it could seem glitched again. Who knows? But for me at level 30 this time, this would be insane content and su super fun to open. But I'm taking the fodder most likely um, just because there's a lot of SPCs that are out right now, especially if you get good content during League One. Um, that fodder might be very, very useful, especially if you're crafting Ronaldinho, Puskas, Kimpembe, Awar, those SBCs that are coming out, whatever it may be. So just kind of keep that in mind there. But the objectives today might give us a roadmap to how we're going to get to level 30 with XP. Today, our daily icon SBC is Javi. And unfortunately, it's not the Trophy Titans. It is leaked that it's going to be the Javi Prime, which is very unfortunate. Um, but again... That just kind of kind of fits the wave of how these icon SBCs have been. So it's going to be this cheap prime job. He was like 130, 140,000 coins instead of the big boy, which is like 400,000 coins. So a little unfortunate again, again, right there. But it probably is going to be a quieter Thursday today 
I'm not expecting too much else other than marquee matchups, the last refresh of SBCs, and maybe an updated loading screen with all the hype building for League One Team of the Season tomorrow on Friday. So make sure you check back in tomorrow because we're going to be covering everything else related to League One Team of the Season and maybe with more information that we get today on Thursday, how that could impact the market, along with especially some store packs that have been added to the code. We're going to cover those tomorrow as well. So if you enjoyed today's video, drop a thumbs up on it, comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you, if you are new. Go check out that pack video from earlier today, and I'll see you guys in the stream today as well. It's been Nathan Foot Account. See you guys there. Peace.